So copy and paste, context menus, right click, a redesigned and tweaked interface. All these good things are going to be coming out in the new version of Elemental and Elemental Pro very soon. But for now, we're going to take a look at the publicly available version 2.1 beta so I can go through and show you just some of the key things that have been added to the new update. I'm Paul C and welcome to WP Tuts, where I show you how to create beautiful WordPress websites. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing and clicking the bell icon to be notified of our weekly new content as soon as it's added to the channel. So what we have is the publicly available beta version. This is version 2.1. It's available to the public if you want to get access to it. You just need to make sure that you've got the option checked to download and work with beta versions and not just production versions. What does that mean? It just means that there could be bugs, quirks and things that don't work the way you expect to in this particular version. Once it's released to the public and it's the final version, everything should be working and golden. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the things that have been added in, some of the key features. One of the first things we're going to look at, if we take a look on the left hand side, is you can see we now have toggleable sections for the interface. Now this is something that just streamlines, especially if you have a range of extra add-ons for Elementor, this is going to be something that's quite useful. However, there are still a few things I'd love to see in here. I'd like to see it remember the state of the different panels between different sessions. So for example, if I close everything down, when I open up a new page or I come back to this page to edit it, all those panels are still closed down. So something like that would be very, very useful. Or an option to go in and specify whether you want all the panels open when you load a new page in or edit a page, or you want them all closed. It would also be nice to see options that when you actually expanded the left-hand column out, that instead of it just stretching each of these and still staying in two columns, that it actually made more buttons per row so the interface would get a little bit more streamlined again. Works great if you've got a nice widescreen monitor. That would be good to see. It's available as some of the sort of third-party add-ons that adjust the interface, so I'm sure the guys from Elementor could add this in there. But that's just a personal opinion. You might think you kind of like it like it is. So there's one of the things we've got, and that's quite minimal to some of the other expansions we've got to the interface. If you come over now, you'll see, if we take a look at the top of this section, we've got a slightly different column sort of series of icons. It's now been stripped down to simply three icons. To add a section, you see we've got an edit section, and we've got to remove a section. But what we now have is a right-click context menu. So you can see if we right-click now, we've got a range of different options, most of which were available in those icons as well. So we can duplicate sections and so on. We can save things out as a template. We can simply come in and edit a section, and you can see that just opens up the left-hand column, as you'd expect. So that's pretty cool. It's context-sensitive, so depending on where you click, you'll see different options in there. You'll also notice that we have things like duplicate, copy, paste style, and reset style, and so on. So let's first of all take a look at how we can copy styles. So if we like the style of this text, we can just simply right click and choose copy, or we can use the shift, sorry, control and C for copy. So let's copy that, let's scroll down, and let's just say the services we want to pull in and pick up exactly the same styling. All I need to do is click inside the relevant section, right click, and we can say paste style. Paste that in there, you can see now that picks up the styling from the first section. If we want to undo that, we can still use the Control and Z key to undo it. So we've got lots of nice little sort of shortcuts now. We've also got the option to duplicate a section. So let's just say, for example, I want to duplicate this. I could do that. I can just right click and say duplicate. You can see that now immediately pastes a duplicate copy next to it. And I can do the same again. So it works exactly the same as you would have had where you had the sort of duplicate or copy section before. So that's pretty cool. We can also copy and paste. So let's just say we copy this section. So we'll do Control and C on the keyboard, and then we'll do Control and V, and you can see that pretty much is exactly the same thing. I'll undo that, and what we'll do is we'll scroll down to the bottom of the page. I'll click in the empty space, and I'll do Control V again. You can see now that drops it in right underneath where we just positioned it. It hasn't picked the picture up because we didn't choose the entire oval section. We just chose this particular sort of block. If we chosen with the picture, that would be copy and pasted in too. So you can see it's very easy if you're kind of used to working with those keyboard shortcuts, Control C, Control V, you know, all those kinds of things are there for us now. And I think that's pretty useful. It can speed things up, especially if you are used to de dealing with keyboard shortcuts. So again, another really cool addition. 
So copying and pasting sections, copying and pasting styles is all very cool on the same page. But what about if you want to do this on a different page? Well, we can do that. So let's start off, let's just select this and we'll do Control C or we can right click and say copy. So we've sort of grabbed that style. Let's just close this down. So we'll hit update on there to make sure I save any changes and we'll come over and we'll just load in a different page and we'll see how it works. So let's exit to our dashboard and come back to all our pages. Now let's just choose this about us page and we'll say edit with Elemental. And that'll open up the new page for us. And you can see I've got some simple text in. We've got a heading and we've got a little block of text. So all I need to do is click where the heading is, right click and choose paste style. And you can see that immediately picks up the style from the previous page. That's pretty cool. We can also simply come in and we'll go underneath this section and we'll do a control and V this time. And you can see that pastes in the entire section. So when we copy, we can copy both the section that we select and we can copy the style and we can choose what we want to actually do when we paste it. Do we want to paste the style or do we want to paste the overall content? So it's really cool. Once you kind of get your head around doing it, it'll speed up the process of creating and duplicating different sections, transferring styles between different pages, all those kinds of good things. You're going to cover yourself quite nicely for that. So again, really quite cool. Now, what about if you apply that style and you think afterwards, I actually, I'd like to go back to what it was originally. Can you do it? Well, you can. Where we've got this section now, we applied the style, we pasted the style onto it. All we need to do is right click on there and say reset style, and it puts it back to the style that was there previously. So really quite simple to deal with. So you can experiment with different things. If you don't like it, you can go back to where you started from. Another small enhancement that can make quite a big difference is the ability to set your own custom breakpoints now for the different devices you're using. So for example, tablets and mobile devices. To access that, all you need to do is come into Elemental and down to Settings. Then jump over to the Style tab, and then you can see we've got Tablet Breakpoint and Mobile Breakpoint. So you can set whatever value you want in there. Then it'll sort of go over and make sure that your things like your mobile menus, they'll trigger in when you want them to, not by default. So again, quite a really cool and simple addition. So if, like me, you deal with embedding videos into your websites, some of the things that have been added into this new version are going to really be up your street. First of all, we can now work with self-hosted videos using HTML5. That's great. We just no longer need to just rely on something like Vimeo or YouTube. And speaking of those two, we now have another platform we can use, and that's the ability to embed daily motion videos. So we've got that new provider, which is really cool. On top of that, we've got some other tools on here. We can do some really cool things like remove the suggested videos, which is something that's great. Let's just say, for example, you're using Elementor to build something like a training website and you want to use YouTube to actually upload and store your videos, but you don't want people to see those sort of horrible, annoying videos at the end of it that are something to do with something completely different. Well, you can now disable that without the need for a third party plugin. Really cool. We can set start and end times on this. So if you've got a video you want to embed from somewhere else and you want to get rid of the first couple of minutes where, for example, they're promoting them themselves or something, you can specify exactly where it starts and where it ends. Again, something that's really cool. We can remove the YouTube logo if we want to. That's great to know. So some really cool, useful little things in there that stop you having to rely on third-party plugins just to do one simple thing. Now, the other thing that's cool is if you're using a video for a video background, you can also specify the start and the end times there as well. So it's not just for an embedded video like I've got on screen at the moment. You can also do this, like I say, for embedded videos when they're used as video backgrounds in your headers anywhere on your website. Pretty cool. Now, there are a couple of other features that are available in this beta version, but unfortunately, they are a little bit prone to, should we say, displaying some bugs. For example, if I choose an image now and I want to make some changes, you'll notice the panel on the left-hand side is completely empty. So I can't test out the CSS filters for images. Unfortunately, I'm sure they'll have that fixed by the end of the day tomorrow so we can test that out. But for now, that pretty much covers the most important new features that have been added into this beta version of Elementor version 2.1. When this is released and all the bugs are ironed out, I'm sure this will give you some real enhancements. Are the new features and the updates in this particular version sort of groundbreaking? 
Not really. I mean, a lot of them you can kind of see are in answer to some of their competition. So things like copying and pasting between pages and styles and so on. If you look at Divi, that's had that sort of for a little while. And, you know, it's only really natural that Elementor are going to take a look at what their competition are doing, pick out the best bits they think are going to work and enhance their product, and then look at the best ways of implementing those. So kudos for them for keeping up to, the, to date with that. There are a lot more things that really need to be added into Elementor and added in quite soon. You know, take a look at integration with ACF, uh, a sort of advanced custom fields. Take a look at integration for tool set. I know these things are being talked about, but we'd really like to see those in there and I'm sure there are tons of things that you guys could tell me that you'd like to see in the newer versions of Elementor and speaking of telling me what you think please let's get a conversation going in the comment section below tell me what you think is good about this latest update what you'd like to see in there and do you think that Elementor really are pushing the curve or are they just playing catch up with some of the other page builders that are currently out there and doing great work as always if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up smash that subscribe button hit the bell icon to be notified of every new video we add to the channel. If you'd like to help and support the channel, please consider using the affiliate links in the description below. They cost you no more money, but a small percentage of each sale generated through those comes back to the channel and helps us create more great content for you. As always, if you've got any comments, questions, or feedback, pop those in the comment section below. Let's get that conversation going. And until next time, take care.